splendor. I got a guy lighting up his whole room, all these light bulbs with like a tiny, tiny amount of electricity. Like, you can use a little battery and light up, you know, and it's just, it's all small scale, but it's proof of concept, you know. It's because it's not supposed to happen. Right. You know, what they're seeing is not, the, that ball should not be accelerating a minute and a half after the device is turned off. Right. You know, um, and it clearly is in parts of that video when you can see the actual one. So most of all that stuff is linked on my YouTube page, but I haven't updated it for a while. But so many people have called the project a Masonic. Uh, oh, you're a conspiracy. Oh, yeah. oh we're a huge right. conspiracy man. And right now, <laughs> the Baha'i the... New World Order. You know, right. and, I'm and, you know Marco's a Baha'i, yeah. and uh, right. I I really have a, a deep respect for the writings of Baha'u'llah. I'm you know, and profoundly influenced by them. And uh, but I'm not really like a member of that you know religion. You know, right. I just. Yeah. Uh, I just really dig his story and I dig his life and what he did and what he stood for and just, he was just a hardcore dude, man. I mean, that guy stood down a whole nation of people and lived his life with chains around his neck, you know, to not back down on what he thought was the truth, you know, and that, like, that's something that I really respect, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. And, but he... This whole equation came from a decryption of what he said was the most great name of God, which was the whole message that he was bringing. Oh, wow. To say this most great name of God, which contained all the names of God in it. And he said back in the early 1800s that it contained the secrets of all the sciences, that um, if you tapped into the hidden energy represented by the number nine within it, that you could um, create a, a machine that required no fuel and produced no fumes. You know, um, and he was just talking about all these concepts way back then, like from a prison cell in Iran. But the number nine sparks a lot of controversy as sure, well. Sure, You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, so we're coming at it from a perspective that the nine is actually not an evil source, but but is actually a very positive source of, of you know, um, and so if you just look at like the reaction from the public, you know, right. to, to putting out something like that, and especially when you're doing a, a 10 minute TED talk, trying to explain your whole concept. And well, you did you a damn can't... good job, bravo, <laughs> bravo. But, you, but you can't, you can't, uh, you can't do it without going over the top. And of course people yeah. are going to nail you uh, yeah. for doing that. Yeah, you know I, mean, I mean, my original talk was 10 pages. That talk was a page and a half. Right. I mean, it, right. I was turning a bunch of pages because I had it written out real big, just reminding me what to say. But, um, but the actual script was a page and a half for that talk, and so to boil down like the last, you know, six years of work that I've done into <laughs> ten, that, ten minutes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it was pretty hard, man. So a lot of people, you know, were turned off by the fact that I went so far in the talk. I don't back down from any of that. I believe that those are the potentials and possibilities. I wasn't saying I will single-handedly cure all diseases and produce inexhaustible energy and blah, blah, blah. I mean, it takes everybody coming together. What I have is the map. Right. I know how to build it. I mean, I know the geometry, I know the shapes, and I know how to explore deeper into that uh, with the proper tools. You know, um, but it takes engineers, I and mean, it takes doctors, it takes biologists. But One using this simple tool, you can penetrate into all that. I mean, that's the whole, my right. whole message that I'm trying to teach, like on my personal videos where I tell all the synchronicities and how I figure out all this stuff, is to tell people that you can take a, this simple tool, and me, just just stupid guy, just regular guy, you know, I mean, I'm not a genius.